I will admit, there were multiple times over the last year that I thought this day would never, ever come, but it finally has, and we have carpets. Only in two rooms of the entire house, our bedroom and the dressing room, but two rooms is better than no rooms, and we finally have carpets. Instagram you would actually have seen that this happened a couple of weeks ago so if you didn't want to follow more live updates of the renovation this is my account go follow me there and you'll see kind of more of the day-to-day -day stuff YouTube's definitely a little bit behind but YouTube goes into a lot more detail so if you want pictures and a bit more of a live update follow me there and before I get into decorating this bedroom which I've been waiting for for such a long time I did just want to say we love our carpet fitters and if you are in the London particularly the East London area and you're also doing a renovation or just a bit of work looking for some new carpets drop me a message on Instagram as well and I will happily share our carpet fitters details they were so brilliant and accommodating even when we measured the room incorrectly and they drove out here for absolutely no reason I'm gonna give this room a little bit of a clear a hoover and then we can start bringing in the bedroom so Having carpets means that we can finally open our new Hoover. I say new, we got it in the Black Friday sales. It was the only thing we bought on Black Friday, which is honestly just the most lame grown up thing ever. But uh, I am very excited about this Hoover. <laughs> Okay, Hoover update. It's fantastic, it's very, very heavy, but I'm hoping that equals power. And the floor looks amazing. All of the little fluff bits from installation have come off. The carpet fitters did let us know we can expect it to fluff for a while. Um, it's just what happens. Uh, so we'll keep the Hoover up here. Uh, we can keep it just in the eaves over there and we'll just give it a Hoover every couple of days. It's probably also a good idea to keep doing that in all of the carpeted rooms just to make sure that the dust from downstairs doesn't settle up here as well. So we'll be on a little bit of a hoovering streak uh, over the next few days. But now, the much more exciting bit, we can bring the bed in. We bought this bed well over six months ago. In fact, they don't even sell the bed on the website anymore. That is how long ago we bought it. <laughs> Okay, bed is assembled. Tom wants it on the other wall, this wall over here. So we're gonna try both, and I want you to let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer, against the back wall or against the side wall for more space. This or this. Now I see it, I actually think I don't mind it against the side wall. However, we wouldn't have any space for bedside tables. And those are pretty essential. Now our mattress is from Simba. It's like a new technology where traditionally all mattresses were spring mattresses and then mattresses could become memory foam mattresses, but memory foam mattresses typically are very bad at circulating heat, like they trap all of the heat. Um, and I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that Simba and Emma are like a new technology that have additional layers that allow heat to be distributed uh, while still getting all the benefits and comfort of a memory foam mattress. I think we got their like pro version, which is a combination of memory foam and spring. What's so good about these companies is they do offer really good guarantees. So we're gonna give it a go, see how we like it. It has unbelievable reviews, but I believe we have like 200 nights or something to send it back. They also all come flat packed or like rolled up very, very tightly, which is interesting. What? And you get to leave it or something. I don't know, it feels horrible. Okay, so it looks a little bit um, odd at the moment, but they say it takes three to six hours to rise and it keeps rising for the first 72 hours. So we'll just leave that for a little bit. So we now brought in the dresser, which I think matches so well and looks really cute with the headboard. How 
adorable is this little setup. Okay, it is now just gone 8 p.m. We just ate some dinner. While I was cooking, Tom was just putting up these blackout blinds. We did get them in a cream, I think it was like a stone color advertised and I don't know, they're not the best color. I think I wish we'd just gone for white or maybe a gray, but again, it, it's blinds, right? The only time you shut them is when you're sleeping. So I'm not gonna stress too much about the color of our blinds, but those are up, which is great. Now we're still waiting for the duvet, which you are sitting on right now to puff up. So I'm not gonna get the bed ready or anything, uh, but that means that we can get started on the dressing room. If you saw our last video, we did a massive IKEA packs hack. I'll link it just up there if you haven't seen it yet. But now is the very exciting time that we get to actually fill that wardrobe. I said in the last video how much I just can't wait to get ready in that room. Tom and I have been together for six years now and Every year that we have lived together, we have shared a wardrobe. So this is going to be the first time in our lives that we have our own wardrobes, which is such a small, tiny point, but it feels so good. So let's start bringing all those clothes up. So the plan is to bring everything from downstairs and dump it all here in the middle of the room. I'll then open up all the drawers, all the wardrobe, and I'm just going to find a place for everything. So this is every item of clothing that Tom and I own. Got some more tops up there, jeans and trousers up there. But this is everything. It's excluding my gym clothes and our underwear and socks and stuff. But this is all of our clothes. Now I'm going to organize. And there's a couple of things that are gonna help me do this. I ordered a ton of Velcro hangers from Amazon. I just wanted to do this so that all of our clothes are hanging at an equal height. They're also super skinny, so you make the most of the space in your wardrobe. And the most important part, because they're Velcro, your clothes just don't slip off. So they hang super well. And I just thought if we went to all the effort of making the wardrobes, we deserved only the best hangers as well. Also, anyone knows me knows my extreme love of organization. So this really is my idea of a great night out. Here we have 100 Velcro hangers. I'll actually link these down below if anybody was looking for them. I looked high and low and Amazon Basics were actually the best price I could find online. So good stuff. Then as well as the hangers, I've also got some labels and a Sharpie. So basically what I'm gonna do is go through these drawers and label what I think I'd like to store in them. And then as I'm unpacking and I realize what I have more or less of, I can mix up the labels, I can add labels, etc. But just to get kind of an idea of where I want things to go to kick off. Also for context, that is gonna be my chest of drawers and this is gonna to be Tom's. If you're wondering why I'm doing my boyfriend's wardrobe organization, it's because, as I said, this is my idea of a good time. Also, he's running to John Lewis to go and get our new duvet because DHL has lost the duvet that we ordered and we are definitely sleeping in that bed tonight. So he's gone off to do that. Um, and while he does that, I'm probably gonna start with his stuff. I think it's gonna be a lot simpler and I've got a bit of a vision for it. So let's go. Okay, so here is where I've got to. I know that there are clothes missing because I know that Tom has a lot more trousers than this, but I just can't seem to find them. So I know there must be some clothes in the dryer or something, but the tops look pretty healthy. I might move the jumpers down there 
if he's only got, you know, a few more trousers because that's definitely a lot more stacked than the bottom. I will decide once I've gone on a hunt for all of the clothes. Open up your wardrobe. Wow. Wow. Take a bit of that. That's sick. Do you love it? Yeah. All oh your God. own stuff. It's been so long. I since know. That. <laughs> oh, Do you love it? So it goes. It all needs a t shirt. Bloody, bloody iron, doesn't it? It all needs an iron, yes. But it goes t shirts in colour order. Yeah. And then this is your short sleeve shirts. Yeah. This is your long sleeve shirts. And then here's all your jumpers that don't open. Anymore. And then we'll see how much stuff fills. But I'm going to get one of those hanging shelves from Ikea so all your shoes can go in oh, without taking up space. Problem now is that I've done all of Tom's clothes and I don't even think I've made a dent. Meaning that all of this stuff is mine. So I guess it's now my wardrobe. Uh, which is going to be a lot more of a challenge. I'm actually not going to go through things and decide whether to keep or donate them. I'm going to get everything onto hangers and then do that. But the fact that I have this much stuff and still freak out every time I get dressed that I don't have any clothes is absolutely ridiculous. So I think I need to cull it down a little bit to only stuff that I truly like. I've just been chucking all of the hangers, the old hangers into here um, as I've been going through and then I'll just put them on Facebook Marketplace. Free hangers, as I know someone will probably not be as uptight about their hangers and will be happy to take these. I'm actually just gonna go get one of those boxes that I emptied earlier because I think I am gonna do a box of summer dresses. There's no reason they need to be in my cupboard right now. And I think if I forget what they look like, when I unpack them next summer, I'll be happy. Okay, it is past 10 p.m. and we're starting to lag a little bit. Here's where we've got to so far. Obviously, mine and Tom's hanging stuff is done. I've showed you that already. Here are all my tops. There's only one layer, which is good. Here are all my jeans and trousers. So good. And then here are all my skirts, denim shorts, and other shorts. Still got a fair bit to sort, but not actually too much. It's just more cleaning mess, and that's a donation pile of stuff that, as I picked it up, I knew I definitely didn't want. And then, because we're wrapping up for day one, we're gonna need somewhere to sleep. So, let me show you everything we've got for our bed. This bed is a European king, which means it's 160 centimeters wide and 200 centimeters long, which means, although it's not hard to find, not every store will do sheets and stuff like that in the right sizing, so. Here's where I bought what. First up is our mattress protector. I always have a mattress protector. I just feel like when mattresses are so expensive, why would you not? And this one is Utopia. Got it from Amazon, it was 30 pounds. Next, we've got the sheet. So this is also from Amazon. Amazon are really good at European bedding sizes. That's why we got most of our stuff from them. This is Pizuna Linens, 400 thread count cotton bed linen. Uh, there's just one sheet and this was also 30 pounds. Next. The duvet. So, duvet we didn't get in a European size. We actually just got a duvet in a UK king. A UK king is 10 centimeters smaller than a European king. So, the duvet will come up small, but obviously because duvets are designed to hang off the side of the bed, I don't think it'll be noticeable at all. So for duvet, we went to John Lewis and we have the soft touch washable duvet. It's king size and it is the 4.5 TOG with the 9 TOG attachment. So what that basically means is you can sleep with a 9 TOG in summer, and then in winter you can add the 4.5 TOG to get it to a 13.5 TOG total. We have this on our bed downstairs, uh, which will become the spare room. We're gonna keep all of that um, bedding and duvet and everything down there, but we really like the duvet. So we just got this for up here as well, except this one in a king size, and that was 90 pounds. Okay, and then, for pillows, we went a bit rogue. We were going to get the Simba pillows, but we saw pretty mixed reviews. And then on Amazon, we saw these pillows that had amazing reviews, and they are the 
Martian Dreams pillows. So again, microfiber is not typically very good at circulating heat, so supposedly the bamboo is good for breathability and more comfort, the microfiber fill gives you a hotel luxury feeling, and the microfiber and bamboo is hypoallergenic, anti-dust mite, moisture wicking, and helps fight against allergens. So, we'll see. They feel, I don't know, kind of flat to me, so we'll give them a try tonight and see how they do. And these were 40 pounds for two, and we got two packs, we bought four of them, but we're not gonna open the second ones until we see how we feel about this. And then duvet covers. So, I've been pretty obsessed with linen duvet covers for a while, but when we first moved to Essex about a year ago, we did go to the white company and we kitted ourselves out, and I couldn't really justify buying new bedding. So, as I said already, the bedding downstairs, all of our white company bedding, will stay there. Oh wait, no, we've got IKEA bedding right now. Don't worry, white in. Oh, our white company bedding's still in Essex, but that will be moving here when we have a dust-free home. But I did shop around pretty significantly, and I found that Dunelm was the cheapest place for linen bedding. So if you're interested, it's The Edited Life by Rowan. And we got the king again to match the duvet, uh, 230 by 220, and it comes with two pillowcases, and that was 90 pounds. And with that, I am so ready for our first night's sleep up here. We obviously still have a lot to do. We need bedside tables, we need lights, we need art, we need to finish the dressing room, we need to decorate the dressing room, we need to put up shelving. There's a lot still to do, but I think for day one of moving upstairs, that's a pretty damn good job, and I will catch you in the morning. Good night. So it's safe to say night one was a success. This mattress is so comfortable. I feel like I'm in a hotel and it's really comfortable like no matter what way you sleep. I don't know if anyone finds this but I find if a mattress feels comfortable on my back and my side then it's really uncomfortable on my front. But not this one! It is really good. It's the best. Best night's sleep ever. Feeling good. It's almost too cozy to get out of. But I must. Okay, first on the agenda today. It's 7 a.m. in the morning, I've got work at nine. I am going to finish the dressing room. Ooh, I look terrible. <laughs> This is finally all done. I've given it a hoover, you can see that here. And I've just added a few bits. I mean, this is not done at all, and to be honest, I think it looks a bit basic, but I've just put some stuff here for now. We're definitely gonna be getting some pieces of art. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put those on the wall or leave them there, I think they're pretty cute. Yeah, that is it for now. And then, as you can see this messy bit here, the shelves that we bought from Ikea, these are just the regular lac shelves. They're actually like five centimeters too wide. So my plan is actually to chop those down to size, just on one side, screw them into the wall, and then just caulk them shut because they're the exact right depth. They're just a tiny bit too long, and obviously they're just so easy rather than having to build our own floating shelves, so. That's the plan for there. But first, back to the bedroom. Now, we're looking at bedside tables for this room, and if some of you have been watching for a while, you might remember we got some made bedside tables off of a furniture resale site or something. It was basically on Facebook Marketplace, and they were made bedside tables um, in perfect condition, and I think, I don't know, they were like 120 pounds for both instead of 100 pounds each or something. So we ordered them, However, they were delivered. We didn't actually get a chance to go pick them up. And when they arrived, they were just completely battered. Like, the legs were all angled to the side, and uh, one of the rollers was broken. And we've had them for ages. We're not gonna, like, sell them on because they're broken. But they actually do go really, really well in this room. They need a couple of minor tweaks, but we think we're gonna try and fix them. So Tom has just taken off this leg, and he's trying to bend the metal back into place. We're gonna see if this works. Yeah, perfect. perfect. As you can see, they're all chipped. 
but I'm hoping because this is at the back you won't be able to notice. And then the legs of this one are both completely angled inward. What we've done with both of them is just get some tiny spaces and add it to this side, which kind of forces the leg to stand a little bit more straight. And then another issue that we had when these drawers were delivered is that um, one of these are missing, the drawer pulls. So we have to get a replacement of one of those as well. So we're just measuring it up 30 centimeters deep. So we're just gonna run to screw fix and get a 30 centimeter deep one of these and that should fix them. And then the final thing about these bedside tables is the color. So as you can see, it's a much cooler wood than the headboard and also the chest of drawers on the opposite side of the room. So I'm thinking as a really quick and easy DIY to make these look absolutely perfect, I might just get some wood stain and just give them a rub. And I think that might make them blend in amazingly. And then that way, we don't have to buy new bedside tables. Okay, so I found this Wix quick drying wood stain. It's in light oak, which is that color there, which I think looks pretty close to that, or at least very close to that. Tom's just gonna run and grab some of that stain, and then I'm gonna test a little bit um, somewhere that you won't see it very much, just to see if that's in fact the color that we want. And if it is, we will do the whole thing. And that was a very, very quick fix of our bedside drawers. And this is after just the one coat of that wick stain. I think this is the closest I'm gonna get it. And I'm actually really, really happy with that. I think they now look very good together. It is many, many, many days later, I'm going to admit. I put the camera down for a little while. Tom's actually gone back to Essex tonight. He's got some building stuff to pick up that he's been keeping at his parents' house. And he's got some building supplies to pick up in the morning. I'm not entirely sure. So I have the room to myself tonight. I've lit some candles. I've got some ambient lighting. I've got some um, lavender sleep oil. It's all very zen in here. Uh, I did just want to say the first few nights, in this room have been unbelievable. Just being in this loft is really cool. I can't believe that this started as just a dusty and dark attic. I can't believe we've got multiple rooms out of it. I can't believe this is now what I call my bedroom. I'm just feeling, oh, just coming here every single evening is so incredible. Um, I feel very lucky to be able to call this home at the moment. Next week will be a full finished loft conversion tour. I'll be showing you all of the rooms, where we got everything from, all of the stuff we've been putting together over the last month. So I hope you're excited. If you are and you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We upload videos every single Wednesday and uh, we've got far more than this loft to do. We are moving straight on to the lounge, dining room and kitchen, which is sure to be an adventure and in my opinion, the most exciting rooms. So that is it for this week. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next Wednesday. Goodbye.